Hey, how's it going everybody? This is E.T. Thought I'd do a little series of tutorials on Movie Studio 13.0. And this is the cheapest bit of video editing software that comes out of Sony. And it's for the PC only. And the good thing about it, this is it's really cheap. And it's pretty uh, full featured for the price. I think I paid about 19 bucks for it. Maybe a little bit more, but barely more than that on a digital download from Amazon. And I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But the reason why I picked this is because I have a pretty powerful gaming PC here. I also have a MacBook to the right here that I use iMovie and Final Cut 10 on. But I really wanted to actually get back into editing video on the PC as well. Because the processor and graphics card that I have now is just way more powerful than my MacBook. So doing videos on YouTube and, and other vlogging and po video podcasts I'm I'm pretty, pretty platform agnostic, so I really don't care which version. Of course, I would really like to have a brand new loaded Mac Pro with Final Cut 10, composer, compressor, and all that stuff. But I'm not trying to drop drop like five grand on that stuff. So my a little bit over a thousand dollar gaming PC is more than powerful enough to handle whatever video I can throw at it. So I decided I'm going to start working on learning Vegas. It's been so long since I used it. But it's pretty much the same as it was. And again, this is the cheapest version. I probably will upgrade it to the next version, which I think it's the Platinum or the Ultimate. But I'm probably going to get the Suite, which comes up with some audio editing, some music creation, and some uh, special effects type software that comes with it. I think that's a little bit over 100 but the, the Ultimate's about 59-ish. I think it's Ultimate. But anyways, you can check that out yourself. I'll put links down below in that description to the different version and the basic price. But basically, for under 100 bucks, a little bit over 50 or a little bit over 20 you can get some pretty good editing software, I think. Yeah, the the, the <laughs> graphic user face right here is kind of ugly, but it's it's typical Sony Vegas. It's been like this for years. It's kind of it's ugly, but it's effective and it works. So first thing you're going to do is hit this. This pop-up comes up. Just hit New. I usually just hit internet video and HD and I pretty much stick with the default place which I aimed it at okay so this video we're talking about adding media so you can either hit add media here you can hit open or you can do a project add media right here from the menu I usually just use the icons pretty straightforward click add media and I think I'll just add this clip here click open and it drops it into your project media area. There's also transitions, there's a video effects, and there's a media generators. But let's just stick with the basics here. So we got our media here, and now we need to get into the timeline. You can either drag and drop it, or you double click it, and it'll actually throw it in there for you. So let's go ahead and double click it. Um, to scale out the size of it, you can either use your scroll wheel, scroll up, or this plus and minus over here, you can do the same thing. So, pretty straightforward. Having a scroll wheel definitely makes your life easier. But sometimes you accidentally scroll and zoom, it'll get all super long or super short on you. Horizontal scroll, like scroll bar at the bottom gets you to the front and the, and the back. Pretty straightforward, yeah. So we got the media in our timeline. What do you really need to do basically? You need to know how to make cuts. You need maybe a little fade in. You, get, you need to be able to control the volume of the clip. So I think that's all we're going to do. We're going to do how to make a split a clip or cut a clip, how to actually control the volume of the clip, and to do a little fade in. That's all we're going to learn in this. And we already learned how to import the, the video media clip. So let's do this. First thing we're going to do is how to make a little fade in. Really, Sony Vegas makes Sony Vegas. I keep calling it Sony Vegas. Sony Movie Studio 13 makes it easy. Just click on fade down here at the bottom. You have your normal cursor view and then you have your fade. So when you hit fade, you'll notice right here the actual display changes. The little, like, I guess, icon ish or tool kind of appears. And what you can do is you click, left click, and drag. You can actually fade in your video. So if you put my tape head here and just kind of scroll through it, you'll see in the right in the, in the display window goes dark to light. If I didn't have that there, it's actually, there's no dark, no light. Okay. If you want to get back to normal again, just click on normal. Pretty straightforward. 
And one of the main differences between this cheap version and the next version up is with the cheap version, you only get this simple editing mode. With the more expensive version, there's actually a, a button here on the right that actually will allow you to slip to advanced mode that gives you a lot more functionality, which probably most people don't need. But if you want to spend a little bit more money, which I probably would recommend, I would go with the next one up in that $50 range or $40, $50 range. I would definitely hit that one. But if you want to kind of, they have trials, so you can try it out, try it out yourself. So let's let's put in our fade, and then put it back into normal mode, and say mid clip. You actually there's a piece of the clip you didn't like. So what I would do is I would hit split, and then I would move to the other part where I didn't like. Then I hit split again. Then I click in the middle, and I'd hit delete, and then the clips will will actually compress into each other, or uh, uh, what do you call it? Spring load into each other. So maybe I actually want to fade the end to. I'll fade a little bit of the end. And so what we got here is we have a fade. We have kind of like a jump cut, just a straight cut. And then we fade in the end. If you wanted to fade these two sections into each other, just drag over each other, and, and Vegas will actually automatically do it for you. Of course, this clip is identical, so you probably won't see any changes. But if you want to get it back, you just slide it over and connect it straight up against each other. Let me turn this fade off. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Now, say you wanted to actually... Let me do some uh, undoing of the clip here, of the cuts. Control Z. Or you can do File, Undo. There we go. Say you, you want to control the volume of this actual clip. And right now I can see it's pretty loud. I have my speakers really low. But right here in the middle, you have the ability to actually click and drag the volume lower. So you'll notice that you get gain, it goes negative numbers to nothing, or let's go about midway, there we go. And we can also actually fade the, the audio in as well, or fade it out toward the end of your video by hitting the fade icon here. So we done, we've done a pretty good job here so far. And it's only you know only a minute or two into the maybe two minutes into the tutorial. Split the clip, move your tape head where you want it. Make sure it's highlighted. Sp split it again. If you don't like this section, you highlight it. Hit delete on your keyboard. If you want a little cross fade, you can just kind of drag it into it, and it automatically puts that cross fade in there, which is pr pretty awesome. Okay, I think that's it for the first tutorial. We got the basics. Oh, maybe one more thing we should do. Let's let's go ahead and export this movie. Let's share it or let's make the movie. So you can click the make the movie icon here or you can go to project and make movie right here. So the icon's here, we might also use it. And what I usually do to export the movie is I hit save to hard drive. I hit MPEG-4 and it's kind of defaults to whatever the clip is. But you can go in the advanced options and change that. So it's what, which I'll probably talk about later, but we don't need to. This is an easy get get up and going quick video. So you can name it here. Let's blah blah blah, and it saves. It'll save to my desk drive, but you can actually control it. So you hit next, then it starts the rendering. And since this clip is really small and the system's pretty fast, it renders pretty fast. You'll get a pop up here. You can play the file, or you can explore where it is. But I'm actually going to hit finish. And I'm going to go look for it myself. Here's blah, blah, blah right there. Let me turn my speakers down so I don't blast it out. And I'm playing this video, which has a little file name at the bottom. And then it's a at the end. That's how you do it. That's how you do Sony Movie Studio 13, the cheap edition. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll put some details in the description box to link you up to where you can get this on Amazon and a little bit of other information that you might need to know about other versions, the next step up, and then the suite, which is the next step up from that with some additional software. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys next time, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.